Hey guys, Majefferies here and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2 and we are again on the CIMX map and I wanted to show you a little update I've made to the Sapphire Lines timetable because at the moment it's not very popular so what I've done is instead of a bus every 15 minutes I've bumped it up to 30 that's during the weekdays morning rush has gone up to 20 instead of 10 so is the evening rush weekends have also gone up to half an hour instead of 15 minutes and night time's gone up to an hour instead of half an hour so pretty much everything's been doubled uh, or had something added to it um, because you can see it's a big area not many people using the buses in the area at the moment uh, and we're still having some problems up here with this junction and as soon as I've raised the appropriate funds we'll be fixing that but today we're actually going to do our second bus line and we're going to link up the Sydney Opera House and because we're linking up the Sydney Opera House we're going to be naming this line the Sydney line it's like our little tribute although it helps if my E key works there we go okay we're going to timetable it the same as the sapphire line although again that probably will change uh, once we actually get going like that and we're going to do bus there um, we're going to use one of these middle stops and we're going to use this one and then it's just going to go straight up to the opera house it seems to want to go via that which is hugely problematic is there a way I can make it just go straight up here without using waypoints? The only way I can think of is putting stops. Hmm. So why won't it use this road? Well, we'll use this road. Why won't it use this road? I mean, that's just horrendous. Look at that queue. It's all cars trying to turn off the freeway. And they all want to go that way. Hmm. I'm going to do a study for this series as well of, of where people go. Obviously that one is obvious, uh, as I've just said. Um, but, you know, after that, like, where else do people go in this city? So it helps me build the transport network. Right, connect that one there, and then it goes back via this weird and wonderful loop, which, again, I don't really want. Um... Why can't it just loop round that way again? Tell you what, we'll get rid of that. We'll put a stop on this side of the road instead. Let's see if that makes a difference. So now they're entering from that side. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. This line I hope will be popular because it certainly seems as though a lot of people want to use the Opera House. You know, that they work there or they live there, whatever it might be. Ah, I've spotted a slight problem. Okay, I'll fix this problem. Wow, this route has ended up being a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Um... Is that the one I want? Or is that the one? No, I think that's the one I want for this bit. Like that. And then that one like that. And then that one for that bit. And that one for that bit. Now we can put these waypoints in. Uh, I'm going to stick them one there like that. And one there like that that should fix that little problem. There we go. And then it stops. Why is it no route available? Which way around does that go? I bet that goes the wrong way. And now it goes the right way. That was probably the issue all along. There we go. And then it goes back via that way. And then there, like that. And then back to that stop there. 
and then back to the depot. Is that the first bus? It is. Let's follow it. Let's see how many people we can get in our inaugural run. Now, I've had a few issues with the game crashing as well, so bear with me one second whilst I save this. This is probably going to crash the game again. Is it? No. Oof. I was sweating then. That looked very much like it was going to crash. Okay, bus for some reason this time is using the central bit there, whereas before it was going around the outside bit. Not really sure why. But oh well. We're on to the main road. Out of the sheltered section. Why that's like that, I don't know. On to the main stretch here. Driver can put his foot down now. And he is, and we're off. Okay, let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Put it in super fast forward. Comes out there, goes around the roundabout bit. Bit weird how it has to do the lane changes, but I've seen worse, I suppose. That junction still needs rebuilding. I have a solution, I just need the funds to actually go ahead and do it now. We go into our little underground section here. Brings us out quite nicely, straight over there. No traffic lights here, you might notice, because technically this is a two-lane road here. It's got parking spaces and stuff, but technically it's a two-lane road. Right, we have two passengers waiting so far. Uh, and they're both on board now. And this is a four-stop route. So, it's almost express. The only reason I put those other two stops in was because I was trying to avoid using waypoints, even though I ended up having to use waypoints anyway. Uh, so it didn't actually work. But, you know, the theory was there. The theory was there. Come on, bus. Speed up a little bit. Let's put it in fast forward again. Right, again, you'll notice there there's no traffic lights, which I find quite strange. I thought there would be traffic lights there. There isn't all of these ones. It might be because it was the end of the road, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Four lanes of traffic, though, going into two. That's going to be quite problematic. Once it's up and running. Right. Strange little slalom bit there getting ready to stop here. Four people waiting at this stop. They're all now safely on board and we'll head off again. Straight over this junction onto the non-avenue bit which I might rebuild as avenue just because I can. Uh, nearly at the there we go, right turn. Got to wait for the traffic lights to go our way. I want to be able to, I might even end up deleting this road just so both these lanes can go left as well because I think that might help with the traffic I'm not 100% sure but I think that might help right very weird movement with the bus there now <clears throat> I believe it has to turn left here yet yeah, it's not in what seems to be the right lane hmm one way systems they can be the, the saviour of your city or the curse of your city depends on how you set them up. But actually that's worked out quite nicely. And the bus can run down that little bit there and into whoa, lots of people waiting here. Okay, now I see why this is going to be successful. Now it it makes sense now. Might need to buy some bigger buses. All right, so they go around that way like that. Straight over and there's people waiting again already. 5 people already waiting for the next bus. That's a crazy number. Right, head through the waypoint, turn right. Again, got huge queues starting to build up. I might turn that into just a big elongated one-way system. That might fix it. Like a roundabout. That could do it. Bit limited in terms of space, but that could work. That could work quite nicely. Right, let's see how many of our 28 passengers we lose here. None. We gained two. So they are all heading to the baseball stadium. That's pretty cool, I suppose. I mean, so far the Sapphire line isn't very well used. This might change that. How are we doing profit and loss-wise? 
Yeah, we're making a loss still. Uh, that might change here, though. Why have we got a maintenance of one for the trolley? I don't know where that's come from. It might be something to do with one of the stops we've built. That's really confusing. Right, turn into the hub. Swoop around here. We have a tiny bit of a queue building up. It's where vehicles drop in and out of... Uh, in fact, this is a good place to show you. It goes in like that, and for some reason a car can't go round there. You can see here again. It, the tr bus itself isn't actually in the way, yet the car doesn't seem to be able to go past it. You have to stop and wait for the next, the next uh, bus to leave, and then this one s swoops over and then you can head off. It's really annoying. So I might actually change these to three lanes. Two lanes passing and one lane space. See if that helps. Probably won't, but well, you never know. It might help. Um, so yeah, now we play the waiting game, basically. Although we're not, because we're going to go survey some other parts of the city. Because I'd like to build another bus line. And I suppose the logical thing to do would be use this stop here and put stops all around this area. Although, having said that, again, looking at it, you've got some sidewalk sections sort of here, and then the sidewalks end, which is kind of annoying. And these are pathways, they're not actually road. Oh, wow. That's a big queue. Why is there traffic lights here? Why is there traffic lights? And yet, here, there aren't any. That's just look at the traffic that's causing and look here as well. Oh my. Maybe having the city at, at 400% wasn't my best idea. Oh my god. Can you imagine being stuck in this traffic? Holy crap. Look at it. Is it really all because of these sets of tra Oh wow. These little sets of traffic lights here are responsible for that entire queue. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> okay, there is a quick fix to this. It involves getting rid of that. Uh, expressway. Four lane. They'll all turn off that way anyway. Two go that way. Two go that way. Join up with these three here. That should alleviate the problem. You can see we've got a nice smooth traffic flow again. Uh, all the traffic from here onwards should hopefully get on with it. We've got a bit of a jam going in the other direction as well. Not quite sure where that's come from. There's nothing built up over... Oh, n oh man. That is terrible. Look at it. And come in this way. It's all because of this junction now. If this car's wanting to go... Oh, man. Holy hell, that is bad. That is bad. Right, let's watch this bit fix itself, shall we? So there's a tiny bit of queues again. That seems to have sorted itself out. We'd lost the traffic lights on this little bit as well. Um, because it's all it should all filter itself out now. So okay, there's still some traffic lights here. And there's a little bit of traffic build up going on. And there's a queue going in this direction as well. And there's a bit of a queue here for this roundabout, but eh, it's sort of traffic light controlled. In fact, most of it is traffic light controlled, so it's a bit problematic, but I'm sure it'll fix itself over time. Um, yeah. Traffic is going to become a problem in this city, and it's because of the whole 400% population, or whatever it was I set it to. Especially things like this. These vehicles should have priority, but because this one... Uh, let's choose one. This one's coming up the ramp here. It seems to take priority over the ones that are coming down. It's a little bit odd. Yeah. It's it's getting there. Sorting itself out. This bit, we seem to be suffering from the random stopped car. So that's that's also quite annoying. But again, that should fix itself. This huge queue is slowly starting to alleviate itself. We've got one lane that constantly moves. I don't see why they can't just fill the gap. And down here as well. 
Why can't that car go a little bit further and then decide to pull over? And this bit here as well, what are they doing? Oi, that's annoying when they start faffing around like that. That is annoying. Okay, where were we? We were over here. We were surveying this, which is full. Lots of people want to use the Sydney line. The buses are full. They're full there. They'll certainly be full once they've done these stops. And up this end, it's also quite popular. So it's a success. It seems to have worked. Uh, if we're going to build another line, how much are stops? 50. So we can afford some stops. We should already have enough vehicles in place at the depot. Uh, 7 for the Sydney line, 6 for the Sapphire line. Sapphire line's running at peak. Plus they all loop round, so we should be okay on that respect. Where are these buses going? These are all Sapphire. Are they trying to get back to the depot via that road? That is stupid if that's the case. They are as well. They actually are trying to do that. Okay. We'll have to fix that. Um... Let me just pop this in here. So we'll have to take off that, add that, and then go to, oops, to depot, like that. And then, uh, we'll get rid of that one. This one's probably doing the same. The Sydney line, is it? Is it? Yes, it is. So down here, delete that via that waypoint to depot like so that should fix that problem uh, oh man there's a huge queue here this is all going wrong what are these cars queuing for? are they all part of this? oh no, look at it four lanes of traffic or four lanes of road and the traffic is just focused on one of them it's because of this tunnel it goes from four to two I mean this side it's all flowing it's flowing quite nicely it's because of this bit here they're all coming down on there hmm it's not flowing as nicely as I'd like it to and every time this comes near the end another lot of cars come along and, and ruin it for us come on look, just two more, two more, there we go now this side should have priority again that's it, go, 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 go keep going, keep going, keep going, that's it, look at that no, don't stop, oh man where's our yeah, it's because they're crossing over, they shouldn't be crossing over need to fix that should be able to fix that. Haven't got enough money to fix that. Need to take out a loan. Oh, I can't afford to take out a loan. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to leave this for this episode. We come back next time, we'll fix this problem. That was me standing on my headset. Shouldn't have done that. So, yes, like I was saying, we'll come back next time and we'll try and fix this problem. So, until then, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you soon.